Hey guys, welcome back. Now some titles in iMovie have additional features, so let's jump in and take a look. So now that I've taught you about adding titles, let's look at some more of the advanced features. Now the cool thing about titles, they're customizable. Now one mistake that people often make is not changing their titles. Now doing this is going to help separate your films from other iMovie films. Not that there's anything wrong with using iMovie, but it has that same look. Let's say I added this title right here. And I added that to the front. And we'll just go ahead and use black. If you know iMovie a lot, you're going to know, oh yeah, that's pretty much done in iMovie. So what we can do is we're going to highlight our text. And we're going to hit Command T. And that opens up our font panel. And from there, we have a selection of nine different fonts and nine different colors. And then you can even go ahead and and you can even hit bold or italic. Now that's kind of cool, but there's even more customization. So let's go ahead and hit the system font panel right here. And then we have a lot of options. So if you're ever familiar with Microsoft Office or if you're a Mac user, Pages, well, it's pretty much the same thing. I can highlight this text and just choose any one of these different fonts right here just by clicking it. And I highly recommend doing this for your film especially if you're going to share it with YouTube or, you know, or just throw it out there. It's, it's going to really separate your film. And you would be surprised just by changing the font how different it will make your movie look. So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead. Well, that looks pretty similar to the room. So we'll go ahead. That Fino. Okay, that sounds nice. That looks nice right there. And we can do the same thing to the bottom one. And we can just, since that was Z, we can go in the search bar and hit Z. And there's that Fino. So title goes there. And there's other options. Some texts have it, some don't. Well, we can underline it. Since I can't show you bold, let's go to a different text. And this one I can do bold. And I can do outline. And actually, so let's go check back. Kazuka. So that was Kazuka font. So let's go ahead and add it to the top one. Kazuka. That's a fun thing to say, isn't it? So let's go ahead and hit. We can hit bold and we can hit outline. Now the black's not going to show up too much, so let's go ahead and change this background by double clicking it. And you see it says black, and we'll change that to white. So now you can see that black outline a lot better. So we'll come back here to our text. So if we want to change the color of our font, let's go ahead and click this blue marker here. And then highlight our text, and we'll hit Command T. And we want to... We want to hit this icon right here, text color. And from there, we can just go ahead and anywhere on this wheel, you know, just choose the color that we want. So uh, that's a nice blue. And that's one of my favorite. I think that's my favorite color right there. And if I was in Monty Python, I would have gotten eliminated. And that's a Monty Python reference. And what is your favorite color? But let's get back to fonts. And I can do the same thing for this. I can come over here. I can give it a different color. Let's give it nice red. And we'll just click out of this. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. It's still the same animation, but it changes the font so it looks just a little different. But now you know how you can change and edit your text in iMovie. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me on this tutorial. If you guys have any requests for tutorials, go ahead and send them to request at mahalo.com. This has been Ken, and have a great day. Or night if you're watching this at night.